Hello YouTube fans, this is BGA again and uh, as promised uh, here's a review um, on one of my personal favorite uh, items from one of my favorite companies and that is Barbour of England. Uh, they're a company that's been around for over a hundred years and their specialty is in waxed cotton jackets. These are jackets that um, that will last a generations. The more beat up they are, the cooler they are, um, and uh, pretty much everyone in my family has at least one. Um, they're they're just great jackets. Uh, in the the movie Skyfall, uh, Daniel oh, um, Craig. Wore one in the Scotland scene. It's uh, he wore the commander. Um, well, w what is now called the commander model. He wore in the movie. It, it was a customized taquito jacket. Uh, but the c commander is basically a taquito with all of the customizations they did for the movie rebranded under uh, the name commander in. Barbour's Department B, their sort of military line. Another interesting jacket in that line is uh, a jacket that was commissioned by a military sniper um, that has lots of really interesting pockets. Uh, so that that's one thing Barbour will do. They will customize a, a jacket to any, any specifications that you need. If you need more pockets, different style pockets, pretty much any, anything you can think of and everything is repairable, patchable, etc. Um, but today, <clears throat> excuse me, I am going to focus on one line of the Barber jackets uh, and that is the Barber International. Uh, I have a few of them off at Bar uh, that I have sent off to Barber for either rewaxing, patching, customization. So unfortunately I can't show you some of those. Um, I have some a really neat one, but as soon as they get, get back, if you'd like, I can show you uh, that. Um, however, uh, I will show you some of the internationals that I currently own. Why I love this, I'll explain why I, I love this jacket so much. Um, and then, as a special treat, I will do an unboxing of one of the rarest international jackets that just came in today. And it's been very difficult to get. Uh, I actually uh, was the victim of a, a fraudulent sale on eBay for one, and it took a while to get a, a refund from PayPal. And then I ended up winning another auction, um, but to find one in my size, etc., is is extremely rare. And it's the Barbour Steve McQueen j jacket with the American flag uh, lining, which is more in in insulated than uh, the rest of the internationals. Um, you you can get liners for the regular internationals. Now, just kind of some history: the international. Uh, is a designed as a motorcycle jacket. That doesn't mean that you can't wear it off of a motorcycle, um, but it is the traditional British motorcycle jacket. Uh, if you have a Triumph bike or um, or any other British made bike, for sure get one. Um, it just goes with that whole look. So. Uh, I have a, a few minutes here before I have to hit the gym, but I will get started. So, uh, oh, and I apologize for the lighting. Uh, I the backlighting's terrible. Um, if I close the shades, you won't be able to see what I want you to see. So I have as much light uh, coming forward, and unfortunately, I'm I'm dealing with one light above my head. So uh, in the future, I'll address that. But um, for right now, let's just. Uh, get started. Um, okay, so this right here is the first international jacket I ever purchased and it has a slanted pocket here 
theory being that when you're on a bike, which I am at times, um, you can it's easier to access the slant pocket than if you were to have to stick your hand straight down. It kind of makes it stand out a little bit. Uh, you, you have the yellow Barber International logo there. Um, sorry about the Hugo Boss hanger. Uh, <laughs> you have two of the more traditional Barber Jack uh, pockets down here. Um, you have you can close up the collar and the sleeves are going to run a little bit longer because as, like most if not all good motorcycle jackets they're designed that when you stick your hands straight out to grab one to, to the handlebars um, the jacket is long enough to cover all of your all of your form so uh, Anyway, so that's a little bit uh, about it. It is a belted jacket, which, since my weight loss, I really enjoy. Um, kind of never thought I would ever look good in a belted jacket. Anyway, uh, it's got this corduroy. I don't know if you can see it because the light. Shoot. Um, it's, but this is like a brown corduroy. The jacket's like a dark brown, this particular one. And inside is uh, the original Barber Tartan lining. It says international. And there's that. Uh, you can, like I said, you can get a liner. And there's these snaps here and here, all the way around the jacket um, for a thin kind of synthetic shearling type liner. I don't have them in these um, just because it, when I... If I'm wearing a barber in that type of weather, it's usually another model. So let's we'll see how it looks on. And, and sorry, I can't give you a full length view, but how it fits. It's got the uh, traditional barber zip, which is uh, kind of cool. Usually wear it with the collar up, protects your neck. Now this is a size large. I have a 40 inch chest and around a 30 inch waist. Um, so that'll give you a little bit of a sizing idea, but all of the barbers do run differently um, depending on the, the model. This is supposedly a slimmer fit cut jacket. Uh, this, the sleeve length is actually perfect. I can't, can't really. Um, there you go. Uh, and the length of the jacket. Um, anything from a sport jacket to a jacket like this, the ideal length is you should be able to cup. When, when, when your arm is straight down, you should be able to cup the bottom of the jacket under your hand. If, if it's if you can't, it's too long. Um, and if you have to come up, then it's too short. So that's kind of the general rule I learned from uh, the manager of the local Hugo Boss store, um, where I purchased most of my suits. And it's a great rule to follow. Now, obviously, for coats, it's a, not going to apply. But for jackets such as this, it does. OK, so on the sleeves. You, you, you have two buttons, dep um, depending on if you're wearing gloves or how thick your wrist is. And as you can see, if I stick my arm straight out, like if I were on a bike, I'd be wearing a glove under it right now. In, um, and it will stay perfectly closed. I could close up the collar if it was particularly windy. I usually keep my cell phone here, uh, Kleenex, or a uh, handkerchief. I don't use Kleenexes. Um, but uh, anyway, that's this is the Barber International. Um, as you can see, the belt, it has a belt stay. Um, 
and you can adjust it to your preference as far as how tight, but let me see if I can stand back here a little bit. Probably not the best shorts to be wearing for this demonstration, but um, anyway, so here you go. This is the International in size large. Okay, so love, love, love this jacket. Now this is their waxed cotton. Now also keep in mind not all of the internationals are made out of the waxed cotton and not all of them are belted. So just because a jacket says international um, you, know, you kind of have to do a little bit more research into it. Uh, so there we go. Um, the next jacket, uh, this is a lightweight, this is not waxed. People often um, think that I'm wearing a leather jacket when I wear this, but you know what, I'm going to tell you exactly what the material is. If I can unzip it. Okay. Okay. This is a uh, hundred percent linen outer, and it's polyurethane coated. Um, you, unlike the other barber jackets, which you never dry clean, you never wash in the washing machine and anything um, that's wax cotton it's kind of the more you wear it the better it is when you go to rewax it when uh, or if you send it off to be rewaxed which honestly it's about the same price to send it off as it is to um, rewax it yourself unless you're extremely stingy with the wax uh, and um, but I'm not, and I ended up for the same price as a, as a tin of wax, um, I, I, you can send it off. There's currently in the U.S. about a 10-week backlog um, for repairs, rewaxing, etc. Uh, at the New Hampshire Service Center. So it's best to do it um, to send your jackets uh, in the off season when you're not wearing them for reproofing and when you reproof how often depends on um, how much you wear and how how much exposure it gets etc. Now this is also a size large but as you can see the sleeves are a little bit long on me so I've actually rolled them up a little bit. If they were down, it's kind of a little bit long for my liking. Um, however, on a motorcycle, it's perfect length. These, this particular model does not have snaps. This, so this is a real spring, early fall possibly even chilly summer when um, it's kind of like a windbreaker thickness to the material um, if that gives you some sort of a sense uh, it, but it does have the same pocket the slant pocket it doesn't have the yellow it's a brown barber international um, and like I said it looks like leather now if you really want to be in the barber uh, <laughs> style you do not button these two bottom pockets you actually tuck them and if you look in Skyfall that is exactly what they did uh, in the Scotland scene to Daniel Craig's jacket um so yeah very great uh, uh, jacket another thing is these they're great um, city slash country jackets um, you can make it look modern you can make it look traditional scottish depending on what you wear it with so extremely versatile um, 
So this is the international in the lightweight. They do not still make these, but you can find them on eBay sometimes. You just have to watch. Just promise me that you won't outbid me. Um, and uh, here's the jacket. Okay, so now that you've seen both of the internationals, just as a uh, little added bonus for the video, let me show you. This is ja w Winter Jacket of the Year. This is the B Barber Field Marshal. Talk about warm. Um, the other day it was around 30 degrees outside uh, and extremely windy. Um, and all I had on underneath was a t-shirt and I was sweating profusely. So this is, especially if you get it in a, a smaller size, uh, this has a removable lining, a re removable plaid lining. Um, and, and the lining goes all the way down the sleeves. It's got a snow guard. I'm probably, instead of my Bogners, going to wear this skiing uh, this winter. I love it so much. And this is a thicker wax, but it's still, I mean, this is a thicker cotton, but it's still wax cotton. Um, and there is no external belt, however, there are internal drawstrings. Sleeves, again, are perfect with gloves. Um, you've got this little Velcro piece to secure it. You've got pockets here, the traditional barber pockets there. Um, and that's the jacket. Uh, there, there is a small hood. Um, if you should be caught in the rain unexpectedly. Uh, I'm not a fan of jackets with external hoods. Uh, however, it's a rolled up jacket in there. So this is sort of the, I'm gonna take it off because it is boiling hot already after just having it on for a few minutes. Um, and that is the jacket. There's also, and it, and inside there are vents and your armholes um, and this is a size large uh, fortunately I mean <laughs> for better or for worse uh, except for some of the real classic models barb some barber jackets are no longer made in England um, for example, this one is made in Bulgaria. I think there's some jackets made in Tunisia. Um, uh, so some of their, like the, the Bedell, some, some, some of their real classic jackets are still made in England. But um, so I buy a lot of uh, the internationals pre-owned A because barbers are cool when they're uh, kind of worn in. Um, and th they can always be brought back to a new like finish with the wax. And uh, they're a lot cheaper um, in most cases, except for the collectible jackets, such as the Commander, the Takedo, etc. Uh, I'll, I'll just show you the Commander. Now this is a size extra large. They did not have any more larges in stock. This jacket is a limited addition the commander and uh, you can wear it like this um, with the collar up as Daniel Craig did in Scottfall um, or you can wear it with the collar down and it almost resembles a sport jacket now this is supposed to be a very fitted jacket uh, it, pretty much skin tight so I'm planning on wearing this um, during uh, months when I want to stay 
light little, I mean, thin uh, raincoat or, or or as a sport jacket or I, I don't know, just um, a thin, this is the thinnest barber jacket other than that one at International that, that I showed you. This is the thinnest waxed uh, jacket that, that I've seen. Um, the pockets are like how Daniel Craig wore it in the movie and most barber fans. Um, but what I'm going to have done is, once I can bear to part with it for two months, <laughs> if not longer, I'm going to have it taken in. Uh, I had to get the extra large because, as you see, my, shol I'm, my shoulders are at the, the very edges. Um, they, it's recommended that you go up one size from your normal size when you get this jacket. Uh, so, uh, unfortunately, I can't tell you if that's true because they didn't have a large for me to try on. But uh, I'll show you the back of it, but you're, you're not going to get the accurate. It's supposed to be more like that. Um, but anyway, so, yeah, so that's the Barber Commander, uh, which, like I said before, is the taquito with all of the customizations made to it that were in the movie Skyfall. Um, okay, let's get to the grand event, the latest international. I have not seen this yet. Um, so, where is my trusty... Do -do -do -do. My Benchmade Sprosa 790 BK, favorite knife, spring assisted, nitrous assist, and I'm going to open it right now. Before we get to the jacket, we included some goodies. The original bag. And the Department B bag, which I will add to my collection of Barber bags. And then on the back of this, it says Barber International. And of course, you can't forget the good old trusty barber coffee mug. Okay, so now the jacket. As you can see, new with tags and the buttons. And so you get, it doesn't come with the usual uh, care information. But, um, anyway, oh, it's not as thick of a liner as I thought, which is kind of cool, it's fine. Um, is not compatible with the snap-in liner either. Uh, but anyway, here's, here's the interior. Tell me this is not cool. Um, you've got the American flag, and then over here, Got some information about the jacket. And like I said, this is the Steve McQueen line. Uh, this is a size large. Um, Barber Steve McQueen Collection International. Uh, okay. So the international line, I believe it says here, has been around since 1936. Um, but I will try to get it going. 
right? Okay. So, with this jacket, I'd probably want to leave it a little bit more open. Unless I, I was riding, just to show a little bit of the liner. Um, belts tied. Okay. Some people uh, don't like the, the belt. It is removable if you're in them. I'll fix this later, it's all twisted, but uh, anyway. There's the jacket belted, there's the belt stay. Sleeves do have the buttons, great length. Um, shoulders have a little, have enough room that if you're riding I feel comfortable here, not too tight, not too loose. Uh, the armpits aren't too high up. Um, you've got your traditional pocket, slant pocket, uh, the traditional international logo, and um, I'll show you the back. So, yes, yeah, so this is the Barbour Steve McQueen international jacket so uh oh and this is a wax cotton finish as well in a much lighter brown than the one that i first showed you all right well i hope that you have enjoyed this video and that it's inspired you to go out and get your first barber jacket if you do not have one already um and as always thanks for watching I'll see you later.